Hello, welcome to the next episode of Random Euro Truck Simulator 2. There are three companies in Bratislava, where I'm currently located. Let's see which of the three we're going to be picking up from. Number one. Ooh, okay. Right, um, let's have a look then at the first company. So we're going to Gdansk, Stockholm, which is a very long one, which that would be the longest we've ever done, or Stettin in Poland. Let's just randomly choose this one. Now the one to Gdansk expires in 10 minutes, but I've already checked uh, before I was filming. It looks like it's only six minutes to get to this um, pickup place. So that job should still be there and not and not be replaced by, by anything else. Ready to go. Ready. So let's get there. Um, how do we get out of here? Uh, hang on. Is it there or no it's okay. Yeah, because it must be here. Kind of touch and go if we make it. We might not. I think we will. Turn left. Lights. Go straight on. I still think we'll make it. And if we don't, we'll be replaced by something else. Come on. Yeah, made it with four minutes to spare. So, okay. Gdansk, which is showing as 879 kilometers. A nice drive through Poland. Stockholm, which is a, a mammoth drive. Does include a short ferry ride, which is okay. I've, I've, I've decided to allow that. Um, I'll explain why if we end up on that particular route. Oh, the pay is massive on that one. Look at that. Ooh, 73,000 euros. Um, or we could have Stettin in Poland. So let's do the random number generator between one to three. Right, we're doing between one to three. Um, let's remember what they are. One is Gdansk, three is Stettin, both in Poland, and two is the big one to Stockholm in Sweden. Okay, it's number three, Stettin. Um, okay, that's fine. Okay, let's go for it then. Number three, Stettin. Um, nice kind of distance. 717 kilometers I like it Drive safe. I mean it is a, it is Saturday today it's the weekend to be honest I, I wouldn't have minded Stockholm this is the kind of ideal time middle of the day on a Saturday afternoon for me to um, do a long haul but it wasn't to be Oh, 
Okay, here we go. Right. So, let's check the route out first. Oh, it looks very direct, doesn't it? Very straight. Just heading north. Pure north. Right. But let's see, maybe we can change the route slump somewhere slightly. We go through the Czech Republic, Czechia, um, over into Poland, up there. I think that's pretty direct. I mean, we could go around that way. That would probably make things quicker, wouldn't it? Well, no, it doesn't. It makes things a lot further. Okay, weird. Surely that's quicker. No, I'm going to go around that way. Surely. Why would I want to go through the city? I'm going to go that way. That's the proper way. Stick to the motorway. Um, and yeah, there we go. Let's do it. Let's go. Let's go. Right, so let's talk about our destination today. Stettin in Poland. So technically I have been there, um, but I haven't really been there. So I'll explain what I mean by that. Um, I took a train, well basically I had to get from uh, Berlin to Gdansk by train many years ago and to do that we had to take a local train from Berlin to Stettin, change there and then take a Polish intercity train from Stettin to um, Gdansk. So, Right. I've been on the platforms, walked along the platforms um, of Gdansk, sorry, Stettin Rail Station. That's my only experience of, of being there. It's pretty much right on the German border. Um, once again, we're going to be going through three countries. Um, obviously. Slovakia, where we are now, um, Czechia, and then Poland. So we're, we're getting further and further away from um, Spain and Portugal, which is good. I don't think we're going to be back there for a while. River. Must be the city. Uh, so is this still? Is all that? All those buildings? Is that still Bratislava? I presume it is.
I just realized as well that the speed limit for trucks in Slovakia is 90 kilometers per hour, which is nice, rather than 80, as you find in some countries. I wonder what it will be in, um, in Czechia, and then Poland. So Czechia will be country number 11, I think, and Poland country number 12. So we're starting to tick them off. Keep left. Slovakia is not very big, so there's not too much to explore here. And we could have like gone east towards Ukraine. Um, maybe another time. And check Czechia which we're about to enter. It also isn't particularly big. Um, and Poland is really good on this game. Firstly, it's, it's quite a big country. Secondly, it's, 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 um, it's been done really well with the, the mod that I'm, that I'm using. Poland rebuilding. The speed limit in uh, Czechia is only 80 kilometers per hour for trucks, which is a bit, a bit annoying. But it means I can take it a bit easy and take in the scenery. <laughs>
Jeez, this is slow, isn't it? These red lights. That sign definitely said you can be in the right hand lane to turn left because it had an arrow point to the left. Um, so I don't think I'm doing anything wrong here. Oh crikey. Well that was dangerous wasn't it? Straight on. This is nice. I like this. I like this road. At the roundabout, 
at the second exit. Exit now. It's just so much nicer when you get away from the motorways, isn't it? I get to see buildings and sort of real life. And now that we're, you know, you know, away from what I would call Western Europe, you know, the real developed countries, you kind of get, I suppose, more of these types of roads. I'm not saying Czechia is a poor country or anything, but it's not like Germany or France or those sorts of countries. Straight on. Straight on. Go straight on. straight on. I'm going to sleep here. It's getting dark anyway. I need to have a rest on this journey, so I might as well do it now.
Well, the road's going to get a little bit windy ahead. Oh, hang on, what am I doing? I'm not there yet, I'm indicating in the wrong direction. <laughs> Here we are. Right, no left turn. Parking. I get it. What? Who is it? What? Is it that? I'm facing the wrong way. I better not stop there. Oh, that'll do. Well, completely blocking the road, but. That will have to do. That's an awkward one to get into. I had only had one space for lorries. Jeez. Not the best place to stop that one. In which case it's, it's on the wrong side of the road as well. So we must be about to enter Poland very shortly. Right, let's see what sort of train is uh, going to go past us. It'll be a freight train. Gee, it's a bit slow, isn't it? Yeah, it's a shame it's not like an, a, a proper official train. I know like when you drive through Belgium, you get Belgian intercity trains, Belgian railways. But they're just like, that's just a generic one, isn't it? Let's have a look at the train. Good about this journey I've practically missed the night I went to sleep got a rest just as it was getting dark and I woke up just as it was getting light so very happy with that worked out well but what it does mean is that my next journey is going to be starting in the dark fortunately
So I take it we're still in Czechia. I haven't seen any signs saying we're in Poland. Yeah, I wasn't expecting this type of road actually. Oh, here we go, we're coming to the border now. So Poland should be good um, because of the Poland rebuilding that's been done. Um, very detailed. So yeah, looking forward to driving through Poland. Straight on. So it seems to be a much longer journey, this. Something I've got to bear in mind, just because the distance isn't like absolutely huge, I think it's about 750, something like that. Because of the nature of the roads, we obviously had some winding roads, it's, it's, uh, it's all been so far pretty much non-motorway. So the speed limit's a lot lower, it's obviously things like that means things take longer, which is fine. I'd rather be driving on these types of roads rather than motorways. I'm enjoying this uh, journey. It's just nice to get away from those Western European super highways, especially the ones with toll roads. They're so annoying.
And of course we've had a lot of tra uh, traffic lights as well, lots of red lights that have really slowed us down. the roundabout, take the second exit. Exit now. So I'm actually quite surprised by uh, the roads in this, in this particular journey. When I looked at the map, I kind of assumed it was going to be more motorway traffic. I'm so used to driving on motorways, it's so rare that I drive on roads like this. Um, I just kind of don't expect them. So yeah, really glad we've got these roads. 
um, makes a big change from driving on the boring, monotonous motorways. I mean, to be fair, this isn't that different to a motorway, this particular part of the road, is it? It's just trees. Still, it's something different. scenic oh, it's quite different to a motorway to be fair a motorway doesn't doesn't bend like this does it it looks like we're going to be driving along here the whole well the rest for the rest of the route nice
Right, so this is where I changed the route. It told me to go sh to the right and I go through the town, city. So did you just say keep right? Confused, sorry. Yeah, so we're not gonna go that way. We're gonna go this way, we're gonna stay on this main road. Surely this is quicker. It says it, the other way was quicker, but I think it's wrong. There's probably gonna be traffic lights up there and all sorts, slow speed limits. Surely this way makes the most sense. You know, to go round the town rather than go through it. Presumably, this is where we would have joined back up with the road. So, I'm pretty sure this is quicker. Go straight on.
exit right. I think this city is quite well developed because of the Poland rebuilding mod. Let's take a look at it as we drive through it. Yeah, I mean, already you can see that this is looking pretty good. Yeah, you can. You know, it's the real city. You can see here city landmarks, and oh, it's it's pretty good. I like it. Much better than where we've just come from, Bratislava. Oh, look at this. This is nice. Left, and then turn left. I like this a lot. Turn left. Really good. I, I, I haven't been here, apart from the train station, so I don't know how lifelike it is. But it, it's just impressive, any, whether it's lifelike or not. train there. Wow. Wow. I wasn't really concentrating. I was too busy looking at the scenery. Damage 20%. Right, I better get that scene too. This is really nice. The park, the car parking, and all the street parking. Really impressed with this. Well, it kind of looks bigger than what it is. I don't think Stettin's a particularly big city. Right, this is a horrible one to get into. Oh, I've done these before. I hate them. Um, let's try and get in.
This is where it ends. Hmm, that was alright actually. Hmm. Okay. Should be straightforward. I think we just do a U turn. And when we can, round about here, spin it all the way round. Uh, no, that's going to hit. Okay, try again. Right, how far forward can we go? Not very far. Okay, do a bit of an angle then. That was an enjoyable ride. Don't quite have enough for the next skill point. Let's go and find somewhere to sleep. A quick look at the map. We're really making progress now. 4.29% of the map is what we've covered. It's been all over the place. Look at the distance we've covered now. Right. Oh, perfect. We can go for a rest here and get my truck seen to at the same time. Ready to roll. Uh, how do we get out of here? I can't remember. Oh, yeah, it's here. You wait for me. You wait for me as well. Oi! Thank you. It's got all these like skyscrapers, but I don't think Stettin is that big a city. What do I know? Right, let's get fixed up. Oh, that's cheap. Oh, we've dropped down to a four star truck. We were five stars before when I bought this. Okay. Right, what we're going to do now, we're going to park up here. I'm not actually going to finish the episode just yet. I'm from asleep. I'm, first of all, I'm going to 
go to my mm, where is it truck and garage manager no not garage manager mm, hmm truck no driving manager I've forgotten how to do this how do I access my how do I upgrade just a sec career skills truck dealers trader no it's none of them truck manager I'm sure it was garage manager oh yeah we can click on this and now I want to upgrade right so I've upgraded does this take me to London though because if it does I'm gonna let's just, let's just have a look okay it's looking nice Okay, we'll skip that. Um, so, let me just check where I am. Am I still in Poland? Yes, I am. Okay, that's fine. Um, can I afford to buy a second-hand truck? Is that how this works? Or do you have to employ someone first? Um probably got to buy a truck first right I want to relocate all right let's see if I can buy a truck first of all oh yeah easily easily oh wow I wouldn't want to buy a one-star truck wow jeez wouldn't touch that with a barge pole Three star truck, five star I can't afford, can't quite afford that one. Um, yeah, and they're more expensive. I could buy a three star one. I mean, <laughs> I go for that one. For the hell of it. About right hand drives. No. Alright. Well, maybe I will buy this one. Not a very good idea, but I will anyway. Um so I want to send that to London. That's for a different driver, right? It's not for me. Right. So that truck is going to London. But hopefully I am still in Poland. Okay. So now we have a new truck. So I think I can employ someone now is that right recruitment agency um, hire a driver three people here um, what's all this well I don't know He'll do. Go for him, Pedro. Hire him. So he's got to go to London. That's him. Yeah, he's got a truck to drive. And there we go. Perfect. That's the end of the episode. Thank you for watching.